Good morning everyone. Happy Thursday. So it's going to feel like Groundhog Day, you know, like the movie. <laughs> so <laughs> this morning because I have the same smoothie I had the other day. This time I did not put cashew milk in it to make it a little bit thicker and that did definitely work. So I put one of the protein shakes, two tablespoons of the PB2. So we have two points, one point, and then some ice. So three point protein smoothie. And then I have half of a grapefruit and some water and I have a coffee somewhere. So let me show you what I'm gonna to take to work for lunch today. Okay, so again, like I said, you're gonna see some deja vu here. So I have the Fit Fam sandwich. This time I am putting it on one of these sandwich thins. So these are three points. So I have that. There is one tablespoon split between the two buns here um, of the roasted garlic hummus. I have 55 grams of avocado for three points and some sprouts. So it's actually worked out really good. I bought this bag of avocados and they were smallest avocados like ever. But I thought, oh, this is going to be really bad. But what's nice is that each of them are around anywhere between 50 to 55 grams. When I, and so I can just do the whole avocado and I don't have to worry about saving it. So that is nice. Um, so anyway, I had also exactly 13 grams of, um, what are these? These are the Good Thins Veggie Thins Veggie Blend Rice Crackers. That's what they are. So this is going to be two points, and I have a Baby Bell Cheese for one point. Also going to take some veggies. So that's for lunch. I'll have this probably for an afternoon snack this for a morning snack. I was out looking for what I was going to bring to drink um, for work today and I um, forgot I even had these in here because I hardly ever drink them so I got Diet Dr. Pepper and of course my protein bar and this I'm going to take to work but I'm not going to drink it. My When I was drinking mine yesterday my um, cubicle roommate she saw she asked me about them so I told her I'd bring her one so she can try and I found my coffee. So that's one point. So that is lunch and snack and breakfast for today. I will see you in the car. was so good and the fact that I left the cashew milk out I don't even know why I added cashew milk last time and I guess it's just because I put it in all my smoothies but by leaving it out it made my smoothie so much just creamier and it was so so good so I'm gonna do that from now on but I'm kind of conflicted like do I want to keep using my premier protein drinks for the smoothies or because I really you know I like to drink those too but I can't afford to like make a smoothie in the morning and drink one in the afternoon so and I think you only get like 18 I think you get 18 to a case so I mean of course I don't have a smoothie every day I probably could but I don't but I don't know so I don't know if I should pick up some protein powder Oh my gosh, the sun is so bright here. I can't even see the, is it the green? Yeah, it's green. I couldn't even see the light. Um, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about that. I don't know if I wanna pick up some protein powder this weekend. I think I still will pick some up because um, that way I have both and I can just you know go back and forth on them. Um, but I think I am gonna pick up the 
Quest powder since it's only one point and um, I was gonna get the peanut butter kind but I think I'm just going to get like a vanilla or something like that and then um, I'll just use the PB2 when I want a peanut butter one but then that way I have a base for um, when I want to have green smoothies and stuff too so um, that is my plan I don't know if I told you guys, I'm having some issues with these contacts. Oh, it's so irritating. Um, the right eye, I think, is completely wrong as far as the prescription. I told you guys, I have anxiety about this, and I think this one is wrong. Um, because it's, like, it's blurry in a different way, but my left one is blurry. I mean, they're both blurry, and I have to mess with them to get them to not be blurry. But the left one... I can see far away it's just kind of blurry up close and then the right one is just blurry and he had told me because I have um, what is that astigmatism in my in both of my eyes so I have to use these kind of contacts that I've never used before because apparently I don't think I had that astigmatism when I wore contacts before but that was like four years ago so it hasn't been that long but anyway so he gave me these contacts and he said he had said one of the things that may happen is blurriness but he can adjust um, the, I don't know, whatever they do for the astigmatism. He can adjust that to make them um, not so blurry. Or I can try a different kind of contact because he was giving me two options. And I chose this one and now I'm thinking I shouldn't have. And then they called me and told me that my contacts were in that I had ordered. And I didn't really want to order them right then. But, you know, she's just like, well, let's just get them ordered and we can do all the um insurance processing right away and da, da, they all together and like okay so now i mean they're gonna have to send them back because I, you know i'm sure they can or they just keep them there i don't know but anyway um i which is really funny because i called them on monday to tell them what was going on so they couldn't get me in until the 8th so that's next what wednesday yeah and so it's really annoying so, i mean i can wear my glasses no big deal but the part that annoys me is then, so I called them on Monday, so then yesterday I get a phone call from them, and I thought, oh, maybe they're calling to tell me that, um, I mean, I didn't get the phone call because I was at work, so my phone was in my purse, but um, I thought, oh, maybe they're calling to tell me that um, they got me an earlier appointment. No, they're calling, and they left a message that my contacts were in, <laughs> so I'm like, so I don't know, but I know they have a lot of, you know, gals that work there, so... I'm sure, but I'm pretty sure that the lady who left me the message is the same one that I talked to on Monday. So I don't know. I know that they handle a lot of people, so I'm sure. So I'm sure they can't keep track of everyone. So anyway, I called this morning because I missed them yesterday because they their office closes at 4.30, which seems odd to me. They're open till 5.30 on Friday, so I don't know. That seems weird. Or maybe I have it the other way around. I called and I got their voicemail. And so... Um, I left a message that, you know, hello, <laughs> I'm coming in on Wednesday. So anyway, so like I said, tonight is taco salad. Um, I will show you that. And I probably won't come back on after work because I don't plan on walking today. I have a lot, I mean, my to-do list is huge. And we have a new employee coming in on the 12th that I'm gonna have to do some training with. So I'm trying to get all the little things off my plate um, before she comes in because I don't want to you know put myself behind or just neglect her and all that so my plan is to try to really work hard these next this week and next week to get um, everything caught up and yeah so I can really devote some time to her and um, plus my co-workers gone the rest of this week so the one that I walk with and I could walk by myself but I just won't I mean I don't know if I have my dog, I'll walk. If I have my son or somebody else with, I'll walk, but I just won't walk by myself. So anyway, but today is a rest day anyway, so tomorrow is weigh-in, so I will talk to you in the morning, um, and I will do my weigh-in video, of course, and I will um, show you my dinner. So you all have a wonderful evening, and tomorrow is Friday. Woo! So I will talk to you all then. Bye.